The mind is durnigra, difficult to control, not impossible. Even the journey of a thousand miles will begin with a single step. Never mind how we are. The point is what to do now, the next step. If you have fallen a thousand times, you get up one thousand and one times. This mind is difficult to control. You say, take the mind to God. But my mind goes to everything else. What should I do? It seems it's more difficult to control than the wind. This is Arjun speaking. He is the famous Gandiv Dhari Arjun, the wielder of the Gandiv bow. Arjun's mind was actually so controlled and focused that in the ashram of Dronacharya, Guruji once took a test. He lined up the hundred Kauravas and the five Pandavas and he said, there on the tree is a bird. Take aim on its eye. Now they all lifted their arrows, placed them on the bows and took aim. Guruji asked, Duryodhan, what are you seeing? Guruji, I am seeing the bird, I am seeing the tree, I am also seeing Bhimsen. Bhimsen, what are you seeing? <laughs> Guruji, I am seeing the tree, the bird and its eye. Yudhishthir, what are you seeing? <laughs> Guruji, the bird and its eye. Arjun, what are you seeing? Arjun says, I, I, I. That was his razor sharp focus. That Arjun is feeling nervous in the Bhagavad Gita. And he's saying, Sri Krishna, this mind seems more difficult to control than the wind. So, at least we can understand that mind is not just a matchbox, you'll burn it and throw it away. It will require effort. It will not happen automatically. In response to Arjun's question, Sri Krishna answers, Asanshayam mat mahabaho mano durnigraham chalam Arjun, what you are saying is undoubtedly correct. He did not dismiss Arjun. Hey Arjun, kya bak bak karta? He says, Asanshayam, you are right. The mind is durnigraham. It is difficult to control, not impossible. It is difficult. But then so many things are difficult in this world. You people studied all the way to graduation, post-graduation. Was it easy? You worked hard, you endeavored. You raised a family. Is that easy? Raising children. My God, when I see you all struggling with your children, I say, wow, I'm happy to be free of all this. Now take them to Kumon class and now take them to chess class and now take them to basketball. And what a struggle to raise children and you all do it. So you have done so many difficult things in the world. The amount of effort and endeavor you put in, in the material side, for material gain, if you could put that much in the spiritual side, we would forever be free of the cycle of life and death. It's difficult, so what? I will still endeavor. And how to endeavor? Sri Krishna says, Abhyasena tu kaunteya vairagena chagrihyate Arjun, with practice and with detachment, you will gain success. 
Detachment means you will take the mind off from the negative side. No, don't think like this. Don't be attached to worldly things. This is detachment. And then practice. Stick to the lotus feet of God and Guru. This is Abhyas. But don't expect the mind to remain there. In a little while, the mind will come back. Now don't get discouraged. Take it again away. Lift it again up. Again it will come back. When this happens, the sadhak says, What is this? I tried so hard to correct my mind. And again it got spoiled. See, the first thing required effort, detachment. The second also required effort, practice. The third did not require any effort. It happened by itself. What was that? The mind came back. Why does this happen? Because the mind is material. The mind is made of maya. The world is made of maya and the mind is also made of maya. So they are sajatiya of the same type. That is why the mind loves to dwell on the ras of maya. Have you heard about him? Your friend? What, what, what? Tell me what happened. Oh, forget it. I'll not tell you. Uh, please, please, please tell me what has happened to him. He has started attending Swamiji's lecture. Are, what is this unimportant thing? I thought he's run away with some girl or eloped or something. See, the mind loves the material ras. This is natural for the material mind. So don't be astonished if the mind goes into the material side. Never be astonished. Why did this thought come to mind? It will. But as a sadhak, what is your job? To take it away and take it there. So this vairagya and abhyas is the sovereign recipe for controlling the mind. So practice is ultimately what counts. We hear good things and then with a resolve, I must practice, I must practice, we go ahead. The world will give us ample opportunity to practice. You have made a resolve, you will not become angry. Now the world is so designed, it will create situations of anger. And God is also working. So he says, all right, you've made a resolve not to become angry. Now let us see. I'm going to get this little boy who will throw mud on your three-piece suit. And then you become angry. But then you realize, oh, oh I made a mistake. All right, this time I lost out. I fell down to this defect. I will try harder. Now, as somebody said, if we stumble, it is only to learn the secret of a better walking. If you have fallen a thousand times, you get up one thousand and one times. Never mind how we are. The point is what to do now, the next step. And how will the next step be accomplished? I practice, practice, practice. As we keep practicing, we'll become better and better at it. Practice makes perfect. The English saying, maintain a diary. With the self-analysis, these are the weaknesses that prevent me from going forward. These are my areas that I need to improve. Have a clear picture. And then draw up a scheme on how to work upon it. 
and morning evening revise in the morning when you wake up check out your diary this will remind you i need to focus on these points i will not hurt anybody with my words this is my resolve then at night again take a moment for self analysis where did i make the mistake in this way when we are careful we will slowly keep moving ahead and god will help you god will create those situations that those mistakes will come out and then from inside he will tell you look you made this mistake you need to improve yourself so with your effort and with god's grace that difficult goal that is the aim of the endeavor will be reached